Welcome to FM Education Academy YouTube channel. In today's video lecture, we will be seeing the Mathematics 2022 Objective Paper Answer Key. Okay, so, but before that, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. So, let's start. The objective for 2022 paper was of 20 marks and it had 20 bits. So, the first question is, if A is a subset of B, then A intersection B is how much? By this question, it means that we have a set A, suppose. Okay, that set A is there in set B. Okay, set A is there inside set B. That is the meaning of A subset B. Then it is asking, what is the value of A intersection B? We know that A intersection B means... The where A and uh, the elements which are common to A as well as B. So, which are the elements which are common to both A and B? We know that as A, A set is there in B set. Therefore, what is common to A and B? Set A is common to A as well as B. We can see here from this Venn diagram. And this will be a rectangle. This will be a mu. So, which... Option says as A intersection B is equal to A. It is option A. A intersection B is equal to A because A is there in set B. Remember this. Okay. Next second question is the coefficient of x cube in the polynomial 2x power 4 minus 5x cube plus 6x square plus 5. We know coefficient means the number which is attached to x cube. So which number is attached to x cube? It is minus 5. So it is option A minus 5. Most students what mistake they will do? The, instead of writing minus 5, they will not see the sign and they will do my, plus 5. So, that will be wrong. It is minus 5. Third question is, if slope of the line joining the points 2, 5 and x, 3 is 2, then the value of x is how much? So, this is x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. That is x1 is 2 and y1 is 5, x2 is x and y, y2 is 3. Okay, so what is the formula of slope we have? Slope is equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Okay, so what is slope here? We have 2. So y2 minus y1 means what is y2 here? 3. So 3 minus what is y1 here? 5 by x2 minus x1 means x minus 2. x2 is x and x1 is 2. So now multiply this. So this becomes 2 into x is 2x minus 2 2 is a 4. This x minus 2 gets multiplied with 2. And what is remaining here? 5 minus 3 is 2 and bigger number sign is minus. Then 2x is equals to minus 2 as it is minus 4. If it goes that side becomes plus 4. So we have 2x is equals to 4 minus 2 is 2. So we have x is equals to 2 by 2. And we know 2 by 2 is 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2. So what is the value of x we got? 1. So which option says as x is 1? Option B. Okay. Next fourth question is. Product of prime factors of 108. For finding out prime factors, we need to uh, we need to do prime factorization of 108. So we can do with two table. 2 5s are 10, 2 4s are 8, 2 2s are 4, 1 4, 2 7s are 14, 3 9s are 27, 3 3s are 9, 3 1s are 3. So what are we getting? Two 2s we are having. That is, it means it is 2 square. And how many 3s we have? 1, 2, 3, 3 square. 3's uh, we have means it is 3 cube. That is 3 3 times is called as 3 cube. So what is the product of prime factors? 2 square into 3 cube. Which option is 2 square into 3 cube? Option C. Next. Fifth question is the number of solutions of the pair of linear equations 3x plus 2y is equals to 6 and 6x plus 4y is equals to 18. So whenever it asks number of solutions, we need to find out what is A1, what is A2, what is B1, what is B2, what is C1, what is C2. What is A1 here if you observe? A1 is 3 and B1, uh, sorry, huh, B1 is 2, C1 is minus 6. Why C1 minus 6? Because this is not in standard form. If it is in standard form, what it becomes? 3x plus 2y plus 6. If it goes outside, minus 6 is equal to 0. Because my standard form of linear equation is A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0. So C1 here is minus 6. Similarly, this is also not in standard form. So what is the standard form of second equation? 6x plus 4y plus 18 when it comes inside minus 18 is equals to 0 because it is also the form of a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equals to 0. So, so a2 here is 6, b2 here is 4 and c2 is minus 18. 6, 4 and minus 18. Now what to do? Find out the value of a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2. 
3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, we get a1 by a2 is 1 by 2. Here 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, we get b1 by b2 is also 1 by 4. What about c1 by c2? We have c1 is 6 and c2 is 18, right. So here we have, it is 18 or 8? It is 18, okay. 6 one, uh, six ones are 6, 6 threes are 18, we get 1 by 3. Is 1 by 2 equal to 1 by 3? No, 1 by 2 is not equal to 1 by 3. That is, we get here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. Which condition says as a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2? That condition is set by parallel lines and if there is no solution, because parallel lines means they will not meet, so you will not get any solution. No solution means, what is the number of solutions? Zero. So, what is my answer? Option A which is 0. Sixth question, total num cost of 2 pens and 3 books is rupees 110. Linear equation representing this data is cost of 2 pens means 2 into x and means plus 3 books means 3. Let the number of books be y means 2x plus 3y. So, 2x plus 3y is equals to 110 is my linear equation. Option number D. Okay. Next, we have seventh question. Seventh question is the nth term of an arithmetic progression is 4n minus 2, then its n term is how much? nth term is given as 4n minus 2 and it is asking nth term means it is asking us the value of in place of n you have to substitute 10 because here it is telling now nth term is same as 10th term. So in this 4n minus 2 you have to substitute n is equals to 10 because it is 10th term. So 4 tens are this is 10. Okay, 4 tens are 40, 40 minus 2 that is nothing but 38. So, what is my answer? Option A that is 38 for 7th question. 8th question is, if one root of the quadratic equation x square minus kx plus 36 is equals to 0, then the value of k is how much? One root is given as 4 means in place of x substitute 4. So, 4 square minus k into 4 plus 36 is equals to 0. Solve this, 4 square is 16, minus 4 into k is 4k, plus 36 is equals to 0. Then we have 16 plus 36, if you add, you will get 52, minus 4k is equals to 0. Or we get 52 is equals to 4k, or we have k is equals to 52 by 4. So, 4 ones are 4, 4 ones are 4, 5 minus 4 is 1, 2, 4 threes are 12. So, we get k value as 13, okay. So, which option says as k value is 13? It is said by option D. Ninth question, the nature of the roots of quadratic equation x square plus 6x plus 9 is equals to 0 is, whenever we have to find out nature of roots, you have to find out discriminant D. What is the formula of discriminant D? B square minus 4ac. What is B here? 6, so 6 square minus 4 into A here is 1, into C here is 9. 6 square is 36 minus 4 nines are 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. We get the value of discriminant D as 0. Since discriminant D is 0, we get to know that roots are real and equal. Which option says as roots are real and equal? It is said by option B. So, answer for answer 9 is, option for answer 9 is, uh, option B that is real and equal. Okay, next question is, the sum of first 10 natural numbers is, Sum of first and natural numbers means I have to find out the value of S10. Since it's clearly telling me it is first and natural numbers, I know the numbers start from 1, 2, 3, up to 10 only because sum of only first and natural numbers. So how many num natural numbers are there? 10 natural numbers. So the value of N is 10 here. And what is the first term here? 1. And what is the last term here? 10. So I can use the short formula of Sn that is N by 2 into A plus L to find out sum of 10 terms. N here is 10 by 2 into A is 1 plus L is 10. 2 1s are 2, 2 5s are 10. 5 into 10 plus 1 is 11 we have. So 5 11s are 55. So my answer of S10 is 55. Which option says it is, it is 55? Option C. 11th question from the... Uh, one second. From the given OGF curve, the value of the median of the data is. We know what is median. The After drawing the y, uh, y coordinate, okay, after joining this part, the uh, we have to draw this straight line, okay, which is parallel to y axis. So, where this is touching x axis, that is called as median. That is how we find out median for less than OGF. Okay, so where is it touching here? On the x-axis, see, it is touching at 30. So, what is my median? 30. 
ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन इन द फॉर्मुला ऑफ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ राइट सर्कुलर सिलेंडर वी इज इक्वल्स टू पाई आर स्क्वेर एच द लेटर आर प्रेजेंट वी नो वट इज आर हियर रेडियस थर्टीन क्वेश्चन इफ ई एंड ई बार आर कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी इवेंट्स इन द रैंडम एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड पी ओ वी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री दिन द वैल्यू ऑफ पी ओ वी बार इज हाउ मच दिन वैल्यू ऑफ पी ओ वी इज हाउ मच पी ओ वी बार इज गिवन यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट पी ओ वी वी नो वी हैव अ फॉर्मुला पी ओ वी प्लस पी ओ वी बार इज इक्वल्स टू वन यू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ पी ऑफ ई सो पी ऑफ ई प्लस इन प्लेस ऑफ पी ओ ई बार सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू वन और पी ऑफ ई इज इक्वल्स टू वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वट इज वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सो वट इज पी ओ वी बार जीरो पॉइंट सेवन विच इज नथिंग बट ऑप्शन बी फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन इफ वन लेटर इज सेलेक्टेड एट रैंडम फ्रॉम द लेटर ऑफ द वर्ड कोविड दिन द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग अ वावल इज हाउ मेनी अवल्स हियर इन कोविड ओ एंड आई आर द लेटर्स विच आर वावल्स हियर वॉट आर वावल्स ए ई आई ओ यू आर नोन एज वावल्स सो वट इज द प्रॉबिलिटी टू गेट कोविड आई मीन इट इज नथिंग बट मैं गॉट सेव एज ऑल फ्रॉम इट हाउ मेनी आर देर वन एंड टू सो टू बाय हाउ मेनी टोटल लेटर्स आर देर हियर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फाइव लेटर्स आर देर सो वट इज द प्रॉबिलिटी टू गेट कोविड इट इज नथिंग बट टू बाय फाइव विच ऑप्शन से इज एस टू बाय फाइव ऑप्शन सी फिफ्टींथ क्वेश्चन इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल डी ई एफ इफ एंगल ए इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंगल ई इज इक्वल्स टू सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री दैन वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एंगल सी दे आर सेंग दैट देर आर टू ट्राइंगल्स वन ट्राइंगल इज ए बी सी एंड अदर ट्राइंगल इज डी ई एफ बोथ आर सिमिलर मीन्स देर एंगल्स विल ऑल्सो भी इक्वल वॉट इज एंगल ए फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सो एंगल डी विल ऑल्सो भी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री बिकॉज इट इज क्लियरली सेंग दैट इट इज सिमिलर हियर Angle E is how much? Seventy-five degree means angle B will also be seventy-five degrees. Then it is asking us the value of angle C. How to find out angle C value? Already we know what is angle A, what is angle B. So by using angles and property, we can find out the value of angle C. We know angle A plus angle B plus angle C is one eighty degree according to angles and property. Substitute here forty-five plus seventy-five plus angle C is equals to one eighty. We have. So what is forty-five plus seventy-five? We have forty-five plus seventy-five is one twenty. So we have one twenty plus angle C is equals to one eighty degree, or we have angle C is equals to one eighty plus one twenty. If it goes outside minus one twenty, so one eighty minus one twenty is sixty degree. So what is the value of angle C? We got sixty degree. Which option says us angle C is sixty degree? Option C. Next eighth question is if sine theta is equals to three by five eighteenth, then the value of cos theta is how much? We know that. Let us suppose this is theta here. Sine theta is equals to opposite side by hypotenuse. Let us suppose this is opposite side and this is hypotenuse. Then to find out cos theta, we know cos theta is equals to how much? Adjacent side by hypotenuse side. So we need to find out adjacent side. How to find out adjacent side by using the Pythagoras theorem? Uh, okay, I am doing in short form because it is objective question. A B square is equals to how much? We'll get here. A C square minus B C square. What is A C square here? Five square. So five square minus three square. What is five square? Twenty five. So twenty five minus nine. What is twenty five minus nine? Twenty five minus nine is sixteen. We have so A B square is sixteen. And what is A B? We have A B will be root sixteen. That is nothing but four. So we get the value of A B as four. So what is cos theta adjacent side by hypotenuse side? That is nothing but four by five. Which option says that it is four by five? Option C. So answer of answer eighteen is four by five. Nineteenth question is maximum number of tangents that can be drawn from an external point to a circle is how much? So maximum number of tangents are nothing but suppose this is my external point. I can draw only two tangents from an external point. One will be P A, another one will be P B. So the answer is option B. That is two maximum number of tangents from an external point. Before uh, going to twentieth question. Uh, we forgot to do this question 16 and question 17 okay what is 16th question triangle abc is a right angle triangle right angle at b if ab is equals to 9 cm bc is equals to 12 cm then what is the value of ac ab is given as 9 cm bc is given as 12 cm it is asking us the value of ac means we have to do again do by pythagoras theorem because it is telling angle b is 90 degree this is hypotenuse this is side and this is side So we have AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square. What is AB square? If here we have five square plus what is BC square? We have twelve square. Five square is twenty five plus twelve square is one forty four. Twenty five plus one forty four. Okay, this is nine nine square. So it should be nine square plus 
12 square 9 square is 81 plus 12 square is 144 81 plus 144 is 225 and we know we need AC so send square that side becomes square root so square root of 225 is 15 so what is the value of AC we got 15 centimeter that is nothing but option C this question is in the figure OA and OB are radii okay and PA and PB are tangents to a circle from points A and B if angle AOB is equals to 130 degree then what is angle APB this question was there in your last minute revision books okay see if you observe this carefully A O B P we observe that it is nothing but it is a quadrilateral because any four sided figure is called as quadrilateral so this is my quadrilateral and already this angle is given to me 130 degree this angle it is asking me to find out and these two angles also we know we know that radius OA is always perpendicular to tangent so this will be 90 degree angle OAD angle OAP will be 90 degree similarly angle OBB will also be 90 degree because radius OB is perpendicular to tangent so here we have 90 plus 130 plus 90 90 plus 130 plus 90 plus angle APB is equals to how much 360 degree why are we adding all the four angles here because sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral is equals to 360 degree that is the angles and property of a quadrilateral so we have 90 plus 90 is 180 180 plus 130 is 180 plus 130 we have to do 180 plus 130 310 we have so 310 plus angle APB is equals to how much 310 plus angle APB is equals to 360 degree we have okay see we have 310 plus angle APB is equals to 360 degree or we have angle APB is equals to 360 plus 310 if it goes outside becomes minus 310 so that is nothing but 50 degree so what is the value of angle APB we got 50 degree. How do we get? By using angles and property of a quadrilateral. All the three angles values we know, we knew, we had to find out this angle. Okay. Next last question, 20th question. If, if theta is acute angle, then the sine theta into secant theta is how much? Okay, we have to find out this value and it is telling that it is an acute angle. Theta is an acute angle means theta can be either 0, theta can be 45, theta can be 60, theta can be 90. And what is secant theta? Secant theta can be written as 1 by cos theta. What is 1 by cos theta? Tan theta. And here since it is telling me that theta is an acute angle, it can either be tan 0 or it can either be tan 45 or it can either be tan 60. We know tan 45 is 1, tan 0 is 0 and tan 60 is root 3 by 2. Okay. So we don't get a particular value here. It can either be 0 or it can either be 1 or it can either be root 3 by 2 because it is an acute angle. It can either be 0 degree, 45 degree or 60 degree. These are the values. So what is my answer? Tan theta only where theta is nothing but it is an acute angle means it lies between 0 to 1 that you have to write means it lies it is uh, theta is less than 90 degree this like this you have to write. So what is my answer? Tan theta. Which option is tan theta? It is option A. So these were the questions, objective questions of this video. A lot of time and hard work is required in making these videos for you all. So please, if you find this video helpful, then 